Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today I am reviewing Reflector 2. Now as far as Reflector 2, it is basically a application that you can put on a Mac or Windows that allows you to display whatever is on a mobile screen, being Android or Apple. So it works on Android tablets and phones and also with Apple iPads and iPhones onto a Windows or Mac screen. And show example, there you go. I'm gonna be showing how to get this running and that way you can play with it and whatever. And there is a seven day trial. I think it's a seven day trial, but there's a trial period. They can play with it and it's worthwhile to note. Now, one thing I will tell you is there's going to be some delay and a little bit of artifacts because I am recording in, uh, with a separate software altogether, but I am recording and each time I've done this on both my computers, my Surface Book, and my main desktop, which I'm on now, it's caused a little bit of lag into it. Uh, one thing I will also tell you is check your firewalls um, basically what you need to do is make sure that you download this the reflector 2 on your mac or windows first and then have it running so like the following but if um, something goes wrong or if you're running into some problems check your firewalls maybe turn off your firewalls to troubleshoot and then see if it's blocking some stuff but anyways, uh, as far as that goes, in my firewall turn back on. Uh, but anyways, you go to it. Uh, once you have it active, you will have a notification like this um, up here. And and by the way, to get to touches, I'll show you in a second. But open it up and uh, go to cast. And from here, you would actually be able to cast out your stuff. So right here. Now, how do you get the touches to show like I do? Well, what you need to do is go to settings, general, developer options. If you don't have vids, I think it's build. Yeah, you click build a few times. You go to developer options, go down to show touch, and there you go. And as seen here, there things pretty good. It, the problem is, is again, the phone's a little bit away from it, the Wi-Fi stuff, so it does rely on Wi-Fi. But I am a little bit further away, so it is causing some problems. Now, as far as from this end, what you can do is you can tell it to show, not show. You can do what type of frame you want and so on. But um, one thing I forgot to mention is you can do the lock screen so you can show the actual lock screen. So if you're working on F, you have that. Um, as far as that goes, that's mostly about it as far as the, the screencasting. You have a recorder, so one of the cool things is, is you can record or broadcast. So if you go to the broadcast, you can go directly to YouTube. Or you can go record. And as you see here, it's starting to record. And I can use it to, so I can save it as MP4. I can use the mic and camera with that. Um, now, as far as the settings, let's uh, close this out. So it's not as distracting. Um, and so since the information doesn't show anymore, that's all it has. And um, basically, with the settings itself, you can say use your system name, so the name of your computer. 
Uh, and you can change that. You can go connections. I'm not going to go tell you what each one of these does. But there you go. Now again, if you're having problems connecting it, my biggest tip is check our firewalls and see if that is affecting it. But anyways, as far as that goes, the end of this video, after I do the outro, I recorded some video on my Surface Book with no audio, but it ha it shows that this application is working well, and it really high depends on the Wi-Fi, how far away your device is, how many devices on the Wi-Fi, and so on, so on, so on. But basically, on my Surface Book, I got to show in, almost in real time so check out that but uh, if you like this video leave a like subscribe and share and i'll talk to you next video hope you have a great day